a very good morning everyone today's video is for class 12th informatics practices unit 3 and as you all know that unit 3 as per the revised labels is introduction to computers networks so here is the topic of computer networks and the first topic which we are going to cover is website I hope you all know that what the website is and you all must be aware about website or and you all must be using website in your day to day life. So website is a collection of web pages, web pages, those web pages which are uh, generated on a common topic or on a related topic and they are usually connected together and they combinedly known as a website. Website is a collection of those web pages which is identified a common by a common domain name. Here are some examples also like google.com, wikipedia.org, amazon.com etc. and several more like your school's website, wikipedia is there or you can say any shopping website. So there are a lot more websites. As we understand that website is the collection of web pages, so the next topic is web pages. So web page is the very far of the single page which is written in commonly HTML is known as web page. Uh, now as per the website like if we talk about the parts or types of website there can be two types of website static and dynamic which we are going to study next. Uh, so as the web pages can be of two types static pages and dynamic pages so uh, generally the static pages are written in html so we on a general way we used to say that website or the web pages are commonly written in html so if we want to access a single page we will access it using the url of that page like for example google.com slash cybersecurity slash home.html so it will go uh, to the server to google.com then the website cybersecurity then its page home.htm so that home.htm is that web page which we are going to open the here uh, a web page can contain several types of data like text graphical or multimedia or hyperlinks also so this is all about a web page so the next topic is home page which is again a web page but this is the very first page which is get opened when you open a website so this is the very first page which come across to the user when he or she access tries to access the website so by this is the default page uh, which a website represents to you uh, to access the website now our next topic is difference between website and web page as you all can see that there are two uh, columns the first one is website and the second one is web page so the website uh, you have already learned that website is a collection of related web pages otherwise web page on the other hand is the single page of that website the second is website can be accessed by the domain name and web page will be accessed by URL. Next is that it contains different web pages of different specific information because a website can contain several pages like home, about us or gallery or different specific uh, pages related to that particular website. But if we talk about a single web page that will contain a more specific or that particular topic of that website obviously the next topic which covers is that it is the big entity as compared to web page on the other hand web a web page is the smaller one than the website next is one more important topic that if you consider a website then you can refer it as a book like if we combine several uh, related pages together then it will become a book if we provide it a uh, common name then it will become a book so uh, website is also like that if we create several web pages in html and we combine them and we give it a common domain name then it will become a website so website is just like a book on the other hand web pages are uh, the pages of that book uh, are similar to those pages uh, which is single page of your book so this is the single page of a website 
examples are there uh, i have taken your school's website example like rj.com and if you talk about to access a single page single web page of your website then the example or the url you need to enter in your address bar will be the name of your website like www.rj.com and then page about us.html so about us.htm will be the page which will get open when you enter this url so this is the difference between website and web page now the next topic is types of web pages the first is static web page and the second is dynamic web page as i have mentioned earlier that website is are of two types static and dynamic so as the web pages web pages are also two types static and dynamic so as the name suggests static static are those as a, uh, which is fixed status is something which is unchangeable uh, which will remain as it is uh, apart from any kind of change so static web pages are those web pages which do not change their data uh, on based on any geographical location or any user or any time or anything so they will remain fixed whether you open it in uh, your school or outside the school or outside your country uh, whether you open it day or night the data will remain same so such type of websites are known as static websites so static web pages like for example if we talk about wikipedia so if you access wikipedia uh, sitting at your home it will uh, on a particular topic like we uh, have access we want to know about artificial intelligence so it will open the same page if you access the similar uh, search or similar page outside your home or in a different country then again it will show the same page so it is not going to change as per the geographical location so that type of uh, web pages are known as static and uh, if we talk about uh, how we can identify that better it, it is a static page so by just by looking at them so we will try to uh, identify their extension if it is uh, having an extension like .htm or .html then it is probably a static web page now the next topic dynamic as the name suggests dynamic which is keep on changing which is variable so dynamic web pages are same like that they will change their data as per the geographical location or as per the user entry or as per the time as well like facebook like your weather forecasting apps they will diff show different data uh, different at different geographical location different time facebook will change their data as per the login entries it will provide a different interface to a different user and a different interface to other user so these type of websites are known as dynamic websites or these type of web pages will be known as dynamic web pages so if we want to change some data so here will require some server side scripting so server side scripting languages are used to write dynamic web pages which are asp jsp and php and so are their extensions if they are ended with dot php dot asp dot jsp you can identify easily just by looking at their uh, extensions so this was the uh, difference between static and dynamic web pages our next topic is web server web server is something uh, which is like your normal server which we talk about if we are uh, a networking server we are talking about a networking server so uh, as in your lab there is a server which used to perform several tasks like it will allow several clients to share the memory to share the resources to share the processor uh, to serve all the request which is sent by the client so same uh, in the case of web server as the name suggests web server so this is the server which shares the web pages so if a client uh, asks for something then it will respond it uh, in the form of web pages here the client will be the browser of a user and the server web server will be that particular computer system where the website is hosted where all the pages all the required files are uh, there on that particular system that particular system is known as web server so primary function of that web server is to store deliver and process web pages to the client 
and all the publicly website collectively constitute www because all the websites combinedly create www world wide web now the next topic which is again very important that is hosting a website hosting is something uh, to make your website public like if you have created a website you would not uh, want ki, uh, that website is accessible to you only that you will be wanting to uh, to get it public so that people can use it so that people can access that website just by going on the google so uh, it will not be possible until you host your website so hosting is something to make your website publicly accessible so uh, to host a website uh, there is a complete process of hosting a website which is known as web hosting so uh, i have uh, mentioned few points about the web hosting like the first one is web hosting is a service that allows organizations and individuals to post a website or web page onto internet as i have said web hosting is something to make your website public so it will be public when it is posted on the internet so it is a process which lets your website to get public uh, by uploading it on the internet so that other people can access it using the domain name or the url uh, how it works is a kind of task like we need to ask for a space to on the internet or the organization which uh, used to work for hosting so we need to pay something for you uh, for to them to get the space to be hosted which, which is known as a domain space or domain we need to hire and then a particular domain when we get then we will uh, host our website on that uh, internet so web hosts are the company that rent out their services and technology to host website or internet there are several web hosting companies which lets the space uh, of internet to the user but on the payment basis so companies used to host their website uh, host the user's website by having some amount from them so once the hosting company hosts your website user can access it by typing its web address in browser uh, just by going on the browser and typing the url of your website the user will be able to access your website so once it get done uh, you will say that your web website is hosted so this is the complete process of hosting a website uh, which is generally comprising of to meet uh, to find a particular hosting company web host which we can say uh, to pay for the particular domain to them and then uploading our website to that domain so this is known as website or hosting our next topic is web browser which is again very important topic web browser i hope you already know web browser is that uh, application program by which you get enabled to access the internet so web browser is a kind of uh, client you can say which used to request to the server to get a particular file open on the website on the internet like if you want to access wikipedia or you want to access your school website you need to go first to the browser then you will type the address of your uh, website to be open in the address bar and then that browser open that particular website on your screen so how it does how it happens that browser sends a request to that particular website and get it confirmed and that website web uh, server will serve that web page back to the browser so web browser is a kind of client which works uh, between you and your web server so it is an application program which is which enables you to access the internet uh, actually browsers next topic uh, which we ha i have uh, mentioned is the types types of browser there are two types of browser text only browser and graphical browser so text only browser is uh, something which was used earlier when the browser was just launched so these were the browser where only text information was displayed there were no graphical or multimedia information to be displayed on the web pages so there was the example linux lynx so this is the example for text only browser 
and next come graphical browser graphical browser is uh, which we are using nowadays which can contain multimedia which can contain audio video and flash uh, 3d uh, hd uh, images also so that is graphical browser like for example google chrome is there mozilla firefox is there apple safari is there and many more so there are several uh, browsers which we are using nowadays students our next topic is browser settings browser settings are some kind of uh, settings which is provided by the browser itself which you can customize like you can change several privacy options you can change several interface options like how it going to look uh, how it is going to provide you an interface so there are several uh, settings which is provided by the browser itself and i have given some steps here it is quite a practical kind of thing so i have uh, given the steps like to access the setting menu in google chrome follow the steps below first of all you need to open the chrome then in the upper right corner you will find a hamburger sign then click that customize and control google chrome icon and then select the setting entry in the menu you will provide a menu and here you will get different kinds of action like you and chrome like privacy like interface like uh, uh, font changing option so you need to uh, check those options one by one yourself so this is the very simple again but you need to uh, check all the options once uh, by your own so let's move to the next topic that is add-ons and plugins add-ons and plugins is something you students which is used to increase the performance of your browser like uh, uh, some of the requirements are there for the browser to increase the performance and your experience while surfing the internet so these are the some tools which are used by the browser to increase its performance uh, first of all you need to understand that add-ons and plugins both are different they are not same they are they are having different kind of uh, work or they are having a different kind of structure also so add-ons and plugins again they are having a similar type of uh, target to be done which is to increase the performance of browser but still they are different so the first difference is plugin is a kind of complete program which you need to install in your system on the other hand add-on is not a program add-on is uh, like a, a single function or single uh, property which is to be uh, installed but not completely like uh, you will understand it easily by the example uh, some of the browsers uh, in earlier stage or we can say uh, five to six years back uh, some of the browsers would not allow multimedia functions to uh, to run on that browser like if you need to see ki uh, kind of videos on the browser uh, which is uploaded by a particular website so they will not gonna open until you have a flash player so if you talk about cbsc website or several websites were there so if you want to see those um, animations which were going on the website you need to download adobe flash first and then only you can see those uh, fla uh, multimedia videos so that adobe flash or that flash player was the example of plugin because you need to install that particular complete software to uh, to use those web multimedias or to experience those multimedia effects on your browser so flash is one of the example of plugins and next if you talk about uh, add-ons add-ons is a particular functionality to a browser it in it enhances the functionality of a browser uh, if you suppose to install add-ons on other work environments say your operating system you can't do it 
लाइक एडोन्स इट मीन्स एडोन्स आर लिमिटेड टू अ सर्टेन बाउंड्री सो एडोन्स इज इज नथिंग लाइक यू हैव डाउनलोडेड इट एंड यू कैन ट्रांसफर इट टू सम अदर प्लेस ऑल्सो सो इट इज विच अ पर्टिकुलर फंक्शन विच इज रिलेटेड टू और विच इज अटैच टू योर ब्राउजर ओनली फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट गूगल शीट्स इफ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एडोब रीडर सो दीज आर द एग्जा दीज आर द properties which is used by the browser to open a particular pdf file or to open a particular uh, excel sheet so these are the examples of plugins uh, or uh, addons which is not a complete program which you don't need to install completely or separately so these are the examples of plugins but in nowadays uh, uh, if uh, uh, we talk about chrome then their name uh, the name of uh, addon is changed to the extension you will find the option as extension but not as addon so addon and extension are same now the name is been converted to extension so both are same so this was addons and plugins now the last topic which we are going to cover is cookies cookies i hope you already known about the cookies which is something uh, a kind of history which is prepared by your browser so cookies first of all we need to understand cookies is a kind of file which is created by the web server and send it back to the browser to create a history or to make the searching of website next time easy for the browser as well as for the user so this is something which is created to uh, easy your work to make it easier and to make it fast to shorten the time of searching by the server so there is nothing harmful uh, in cookies but still uh, using cookies your data can be at risk so it is preferred that you should delete the cookies so first of all we need to understand what the cookies is like the first topic is cookies are messages that web server pass to your web browser when you visit or internet site a brow your browser stores each information in small file called cookie.txt when you request another page from the server your browser sends the cookies back to the server these files typically contain information about your visit to the website web page as well as any information you have volunteered such as your name and interest uh, i hope you have experienced this like if you have searched something on a browser like you have searched for a particular uh watch or you have particular mobile uh then first time you have searched for the mobile and next time uh you have closed the system and next time again when you open the browser then you will get several ads related to that search which we have done earlier so this is done by using cookies because when you have searched first time for that particular mobile Uh, and you have opened several websites so those web server has created a file related to your ip address containing your ip address your interest what you have searched and send it back to the browser so other websites have those the access to those cookies and they get to know that similar content about their website and they started sending their messages to you that particular ip address means to your system so that's why you are getting several ads related to that search so it is all done because of sharing of cookies between several websites that's why cookies can be harmful to you because the data can be shared with between different websites or different web servers the next topic is cookies are most commonly used to track website activities when you visit some sites the server gives you a cookie that act as your identification card so whenever you visit a website Uh, a particular identification card or a file has been prepared by the web server again i have as i have told you containing your ip address your search interest and all and that is saved in your browser uh one more thing which we need to understand is the types of cookies so here are the three types of cookies uh three types of cookies like first is session second is persistent and third is third party session is the cookie which is 
prepared only for a particular period of time which is particular which is which will enable uh, for a particular session persistent is which is permanent which will remain in the system for a long time and third party is a kind of cookie which is uh, commonly used as uh, to track your search history so it is known as tracking cookies also because it will be shared between uh, third web server third party web server like you have searched you are the client you are the first person you have searched you have gone to a particular web server then that is the second person but that file which is sent by that server to you will be shared with the third website which is known as third third person or the third uh, party cookie uh, which will uh, enable that third website to send its ads to you so that's why again uh, if we talk about its optimistic side then it is um, beneficial for you because it will provide you more options related to your search and it is again beneficial for the website or web owner also because it will create more chances to for their business but on the other ha side uh, it is again harmful also it can be harmful but it do not uh, having any kind of virus in it but it can be harmful because of its uh, vulnerability because it can be accessed by the third party or it can be accessed by any uh, hacker also which can hack your personal details and can make your data at risk so uh you it is preferable that you should delete your cookies time by time and if you are using a public computer then you should always delete your cookies before uh, getting out from that uh, particular area so uh, this was the second unit uh, this was the unit uh, introduction to computer network i hope all the topics are clear now uh, you will uh, need to prepare all these topic very well and try to watch this video as much time as you want and clear all your doubts uh, so thank you